This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a returning guest. He is uh, Phil Deshaun. Well, he is the president and CEO of Helios Medical Technology. Well, they trade on two exchanges. Uh, trade on the TSX under the ticker symbol HSM. And they also trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol HSDT. Phil, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me back. I greatly appreciate it. You know, it's been about six months since you've been on the show. Give my listeners a little bit uh, about statement of what you guys are all about, and then we'll do some Q&A. Okay. Well, we're a, uh, we're a medical device company, and we're developing a, uh, a medical device called the PONS. Uh, ultimately, what we hope uh, this uh, experimental device uh, will do is help people uh, relieve uh, their uh, neurological symptoms of disease or trauma. So if you have uh, MS uh, and or a traumatic brain injury or chronic symptoms of a traumatic brain injury or Parkinson's, uh, we're, uh, we're trying to do the clinical trials to see if, uh, if uh, what we see anecdotally in, uh, in uh, subjects that have been treated uh, can be replicated in, in good heart science. No, that's an acronym, uh, and if you want to go ahead and give the whether, but that's a portable system, right? Yes, it's a it's it's called the portable neuromodulation stimulator. That's what the PONS stands for, and it's essentially a non-invasive device uh, that, uh, believe it or not, communicates uh, through your tongue to your brain. Uh, and when you combine that stimulation with e- either physical or uh, cognitive exercises or thinking exercises, uh, it uh, tends to trigger uh, the brain uh, to uh, rewire itself uh, so that uh, it can uh, help fix what's damaged by disease or trauma. So that's fundamentally how it works. Wow, that that's really uh, amazing. I also wanted to congratulate you guys are uh, moving to a new headquarters in Newton, Pennsylvania. Why, why there? Uh, well, it's a little bit of a CEO privilege. Uh, it, it's going to be uh, it's going to be about a hundred meters from my house, uh, but uh, no. So that's that's the inside joke. Uh, but uh, really, uh, Newtown is about thirty miles north of Philadelphia. Uh, it's in uh, what we uh, euphemistically call the healthcare corridor. So great access to talent, uh, and uh, and obviously uh, great. Uh, we're going to be uh, an international company and uh, access to three international airports within uh, thirty minutes, uh, thirty forty minutes of the office. Uh, those by far were the, uh, the redeeming factors of there. Uh, it's just another bonus that, uh, that I live very close to the office. You know, companies that are in your space, I talk to CEOs every day and, and hundreds uh, every year. You know, it, it takes a little time for you guys to come out of clinical uh, developments. So what is next for you guys and in, in, in your programs out there? When, you know, what are you guys working on? What's the, uh, the big thing that's going to come out? All right, so we're uh, we're just finishing up uh, our uh, our trial in traumatic brain injury. So the trial is to see if it might help people who have balanced balance disorder tied uh, to a, a chronic uh, brain injury. So that's you know sports concussive injuries that are all uh, all part of the news these days. Um, and uh, that trial uh, will end uh, sometime in uh, in June. Uh, so uh, we're uh, very excited then to uh, analyze all of the data and uh, and then submit it uh, to the uh, the FDA sometime early in the fall. Uh, and then the FDA will uh, will uh, look over the data and uh, and see if uh, if they might uh, clear the device. Um, and uh, that's uh, something that we're expecting to be sometime uh, early next year, sometime in the first quarter next year. So we're very excited and on. on the cusp of uh, of really discovering uh, scientifically uh, whether uh, whether we'll make it through the clinical trials. And that's the plot. Is that the pond system? That is the pond system. That's right. And uh, and uh, based also on uh, uh, on uh, positive uh, data in a pilot study that we uh, that was just published uh, in MS. Uh, we are uh, starting uh, a big, uh, uh, what's called a registrational trial in MS uh, to see if we might get the device cleared uh, by the uh, the FDA and, and Health Canada and uh, and then obviously in, in Europe also. Um, uh, and that uh, that trial will start sometime in the fall. 
Helios Medical Technology is our company that we're highlighting today on Stock Day. Our guest is Phil Deshaun. He is the president and CEO. They trade on the TSX under the ticker symbol HSM. They also trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol HSDT. Let's talk about some financing. I understand you guys got about 12 to 12.5 million in financing. Uh, what is that money going to be used for? And I'm sure that was a big help out. Uh, sure. Uh, look, uh, I've got to I've got to hand it to the capital markets. Uh, they've worked perfectly well for us. Uh, we uh, uh, we have uh, raised about thirty six million dollars in the development of this uh, technology in the last uh, two and a half years, and, uh, and now have uh, enough money to finish our clinical trial and, as I just mentioned, uh, start our uh, pivotal trial in uh, uh, in uh, in MS. Uh, also, uh, this will allow us to uh, to do all of our pre-commercialization, uh, the pre-commercialization program. So, getting uh, getting ready uh, and also kicking off our, our manufacturing, our scale manufacturing uh, process, so that uh, we can actually produce the devices uh, should they uh, should they get cleared by the regulatory authorities. So, very very exciting and uh, dynamic time. So, you don't see any time near near time that you're going to have to go into the secondary market and get some more money. Well, see what's uh, what's going to happen. Eric is uh, is uh, based on uh, the release of the data sometime uh, sometime this uh, this summer, um, and uh, should the the results be positive, then we would uh, go back into the markets and and raise uh, probably fifty sixty million dollars uh, to prepare for a full scale launch. Uh, the uh, potential applications for uh, for this device are are, are numerous, uh, so um, uh, we certainly want to uh, build uh, an appropriate size uh, sales force and uh, and uh, and marketing uh, you know marketing organization so that we can uh, start uh, connecting um, uh, with uh, consumers and uh, and uh, the medical community that uh, will be prescribing this. Absolutely. When do you expect the clinical trials for the uh, traumatic brain injury research to be completed? Uh, the uh, we think the last subject uh, will come in around June first, and it's a five-week uh, trial. So sometime uh, uh, very early in uh, uh, in July, uh, and then it takes uh, six to eight weeks to uh, do all of the analysis uh, and clean up all of the data. So we'll be submitting to the FDA, as I said, uh, sometime in the early fall. If people want more information about the company, where can they go and, and read up on some of your technologies and some of the things you guys are doing over there? Uh, we, uh, we keep our website uh, very, very current. So that's uh, heliusmedical.com. Uh, and uh, there people can uh, understand uh, what uh, clinical trials are ongoing. And if uh, obviously uh, the only way in which we, uh, we get to, uh, to see if, uh, if these kinds of technologies are scientifically valid is to, to, to perform uh, very rigorous uh, clinical trials. Uh, so uh, we certainly uh, uh, look, uh, look for people uh, to raise their hand and participate if that's, uh, if that's at all possible. Um, so... Um, uh, the, really uh, going to the website and uh, learning about the technology and seeing what kind of research uh, we're doing is uh, is really the best way to uh, to, to stay in touch and uh, uh, and uh, on the contact us tab uh, you can sign up for alerts uh, so uh, we can uh, sort of uh, get you direct information on uh, on the, the ongoing uh, development of uh, of the technology in the company. My guest today has been Phil Deshaun. He is the uh, president and CEO of Helios Medical Technologies. Again, they trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol HSDT. They also trade on the TSX under the ticker symbol HSM. In closing, uh, Phil, is there anything that we didn't get a chance to talk about that you would like to get out there to the listeners? Well, uh, no, I, uh, you know, ultimately this is uh, all about doing great science uh, and making sure that uh, what we uh, what we've observed uh, anecdotally uh, prior to doing the clinical research uh, gets confirmed, uh, and uh, we're we're doing uh, we're doing uh, the best we can to uh, to uh, to make sure that uh, all of the the data is going to be uh, scientifically uh, rigorous, and uh, you know, stand by this summer uh, where we uh, we hope to to be able to uh, to announce uh, that uh, our our trial is over and we're submitting to the FDA. Well, I wish you nothing but continuous success. Hopefully you'll come back on the show in June or July. Give us an update of what's going on. No, that sounds great. Thank you so much for having me. The 
The following program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire LLC, which is responsible for the following content. The opinions and information provided on today's show are those of the guests and of those of the respective companies they represent, and does not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of this station. Uptick Network encourages all listeners of the show to do their own due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that'll work for them, or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of today's show may have paid to appear on the show and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Network or this station.